Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sammy Leggy here representing Team JVS. This will probably be the very first anime film that I've watched um, where, like, throughout the film, you know, I had emotional moments, you know, uh, and accounts for what was going through the circumstances of the characters, Ishida and Nishima. And um, this is the first time I really want to and feel like crying. Like, I really do. Like, <sighs> just off the gate, the animation style is amazing. This movie came out in like 2016, 2017. I've been wanting to see this movie for a very long time. When it populated on Netflix, I immediately put it to my list, but I just have not had the time to actually watch it until tonight. This is around, like right now, it's like two o'clock in the morning. And I was like, maybe I'll review it later, but I was like, I'm not gonna review this later. Like, uh, it'll always be not enough time, right? And one of the principal aspects of this is that people go through different emotions and circumstances from their youth and from their present and going into their future if they even think that they should deserve it. And it's kind of like, there's never gonna be a right time. It's always gonna be a circumstance that could get in the way. And uh, it's kind of like, I felt like, man, this is a, I need to go ahead and review this. I'm talking about a silence of voice uh, or uh, technically, um, I think the manga and the way they label it is the shape of voice. Um, this film, art style was beautiful. It's immaculate. Like there's a scene on a subway train where the main characters are just side by side, not talking, not saying anything. And you can see like the, their clothes moving with the movement of the actual subway. <laughs> and, um, the non-verbals like you know how like animes normally use like the puffiness or the red you know like to show when somebody's like you know blushing or, or upset or possibly you know heated they didn't do that in this there's no comedical like facial movements like it is very intentional it is very different for each character each character has a completely different look and aesthetic uh, and a beauty and a grace to how they articulate their emotions. And the, the, the thing about the way that the movie is designed, I'm assuming the same way the manga is designed, is that there's no perfect person in this. There were moments where I was kind of like, good people, I was kind of like, yo, I hate this character. Like, I can't believe they're doing that. Like, how dare they say something like that? Or a character that, like, um, uh, what was her name? Uh, Nayo. Um, I was mad at her for the bulk of the film because I was like, you know what? She doesn't understand. She has a lacking of this. And like, she's just so possessive and so abusive and stuff like that. And just so mean to this girl. And it's like, I was like, she's just not stopping. And then nobody's stopping her. But then the character uh, Ishida is not necessarily in his right mind either. Like he's dealing with his own backlash. But every character does have a heart every character is not inherently evil or completely good and um it's beautiful bro like um the different dissections of humanity because the main character Ishida when we first see him you know, like he's got these friends and everybody kind of likes him is all around him and he's just you know doing all these random things and it's kind of like you you get this understanding you know as soon as this girl comes up that oh wow she's very loving and very um remorse remorseful like she she continuously asks for forgiveness for things that she didn't even do and she is very much so deaf and when they're in elementary school, like nobody understood. Like it, she was being a bad kid. Like he lashing out on her because everybody else was doing it. And he just didn't care to understand, nor did he want to. And he just took it too far. 
and as well as other people did. Other people were in the in the mix of it. Other people enabled certain things. Other people didn't. Um, other people tried to help her, and then they. Either way, she just got the brunt of it, and she just she absorbed all of it. Like she absorbed all of it, and just tried to still be kind. She never lashed out at anybody. She never fought anybody. Well, I take it back. She fought him one time. One time they they scrapped. And she was basically like, I'm doing the best I can. And I I right there was already feeling emotional. Cause he he did he comprehended, but he didn't care. And the crazy thing is, from what happened with her, the consequence was for him, he became depressed. He became an outsider. He couldn't even look at people in the face anymore. Like he he was a lesser form of him his previous self no, nor did he even look he hated himself but then the other side of this is that because of her life because of what she went through with him and others she hated herself and like when you got two people that literally hate themselves right and now they're adults and he the very opening of this if you've seen the trailers he wanted to kill himself he planned it and everything like it, it was dark and um like, they just take you on so many realms of emotions, bro. Voice acting was... <laughs> oh, man. Voice acting was so good, bro. Voice acting was so good. Specifically for her. I mean, every, every character, um, I think, worked really well. But the voice acting was really good. And I, I listened to it, the English dubbed... Um, I'll maybe go watch this again and listen to the Japanese translation, but this is a this is an amazing film, man. Because the reality of it is is that some people were kind of just like blaming her. Some people would blame him. Some people would blame the circumstance. And all throughout this film, they're all evolving and progressing to some direction. But effectively, uh, until a certain point, like two specific people were suffering the whole entire time, the whole entire movie, in spite of, you know, wanting love or wanting to help or wanting to bring joy, like they were suffering. And like, you can feel it. And like, there was, I, I just had to go through it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like some movies, you know, they tell you an interesting story. It's, it's engaging. It's like, oh, okay, wow, I can't believe they're helping. Oh, wow, you, you connect to it. There's nothing I can connect to any of this. Like, it's just something I had to go through and feel and immerse myself into the circumstance. And, like, it was horrible. Like, I feel joy now, but I still, you know feel sad for the situation like I want to cry because like there's so many different things that people did in this film that were just god awful hurtful hurtful but then there's so many different people that showed love and showed grace and had a willingness to forgive and had a willingness to be able to understand and then there's other side of that which is the frustrating part where people just didn't understand couldn't hear couldn't articulate the the two main characters there's a there's a deep conversation that happens with like two little fish things on the, on a stick and one of them is trying to communicate something and the other one just doesn't get it and like all the different realms of emotion just like come out like everything, like whether it's anger, whether it is joy, whether it's fear, and like it's just it's it's a part of the pain of the situation, like the circumstance of putting them in a situation, and um, I know I'm rambling, I apologize, I didn't think I was gonna spend this much time talking about this um music is great, uh score is beautiful, but the story, bro. The story really does pull you in, and I don't know, man. Like, it, it messed me up. I think it really messed me up. Um, it was really beautiful, man. It was really good. Like, 
the characters I want to hate, I can't hate. <laughs> because it, it also grounds itself in reality. Like, like, there's very much so reality circumstances that are going on that you, you feel a certain way when you're a kid, but then later on when you grow up, yeah, you got to deal with certain aspects of it, but you can evolve, you can progress. And some people can't. And they just can't continue to live anymore. They just can't. And that brings me a lot of sadness. Like, there are probably people that um, <sighs> that hate themselves so much that they just blame themselves so much or had so much um, done to them or feel they are a burden that they they just couldn't couldn't move past it they couldn't look at themselves with beauty they couldn't look at others as though that they were worth living that it would be easier to just no longer exists anymore. And um, I think that's really sad. But this movie, um, it showed um, a aspect of hope and friendship and family and um, An, an impression of camaraderie and what that can do for the human soul and um, man it's just really late at night I need to go to bed yeah <laughs> I think I just need to go to bed to be honest uh, no more 2 o'clock reviews for me hope you guys I'm, I, yeah, I'm not editing this. I'm not editing this at all. Um, go and check out A Silent Voice or um, The Shape Voice. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And uh, if any of you guys have dealt with abuse or uh, self-loathing or depression or feelings of hopelessness where you can't can't even move or you're crippled by it and you just feel like it's easier just to end it all don't know you're loved know you are highly favored and you can gravitate to know that you are loved and and God's got an amazing story to tell with you. On that note, <laughs> no more watching late night anime. You have a good one. <laughs> oh, man, I just lost everything right there. Uh, Samuel Leggett here representing Team JVS. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't going to stop. Peace, guys.